be alive. Alive. Because the man had volunteered. He said, look, make it easy for you. He volunteered. When a man volunteers, you don't have to strangle him before throwing. He says, no. If a man volunteers, you don't have to spear him before throwing. He says, no. You don't have to break his arm or limb. He says, no. So he was alive. They threw him into the sea alive. He said, yes. And the storm subsided, says the book. Perhaps it was a coincidence. A fish comes and gobbles him, dead or alive, alive. Make him to say, you make him to say, dead or alive. First you make him, convince him and say, look, the man volunteered. If a man volunteers, then you don't have to do any harsh things to him. The man says, throw me. So they threw him. They don't have to do any harm. He is alive. Fish gobbles him, alive. From the fish's belly, the book says that he prayed to God for help. Do dead people pray? Dead people, do they pray? No. So he was, get it from his mouth, alive. Three days and three nights, the fish takes him around the ocean. Dead or alive? Alive. On the third day, one is on the seashore, alive or dead? Alive. Look, the man told you, for as Jonah was, so shall the son of man be. Jonah is alive. According to your church, was Jesus dead or alive for three days and three nights? Dead. In your language, you English speaking people, in your language, is that like Jonah or unlike Jonah? Look, he failed. He said he'll be like Jonah and you telling me he was unlike Jonah. 1,200 million Christians say that he was dead, Jesus said he would be alive. I want to know who's lying, you or him. Your God lying or you 1,200 million Christians, you seven day Adventists and you Jehovah's Witness and you Baptist and the whole bank lot of you. Are you lying or he is lying? Your God is lying or you are lying? I want to know, tell me, who's a liar? You ask him, who's lying, you or him? You, the thousand million Christians or Jesus Christ, who's a liar? Look, it's as easy as that. Wallah, it's easier. Simple, basic language. Like Jonah or unlike Jonah. But the clever fellow tells you, he said, no, 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 no. It was the time factor. So what's the miracle about a time factor? This is the time factor. You see, Jesus said, for as Jonah was three days and three nights, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights. He repeats the word three, four times. But he said, look, if a man is alive for three days or three days, that's not a miracle. Miracle is, you expect a man to be dead and he's alive. That's a miracle. When you throw a man into a raging sea, he ought to die. If he died, it's not a miracle. A fish comes and gobbles a man. If the fish is no respecter of persons. He said, look, this is Jonah. I must take him nicely, gently. He mustn't get hurt. Hmm? Come, 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 come. No, a fish is no respecter. Look. That's a fish. That's how it takes the bait. Poor thing gets caught. That's how it gets caught. If it was the respecter of, of your bait, it won't get caught. So, fish gobbles him, he ought to die. If he dies, it's not a miracle. Three days and three nights, suffocation and heat in the whale's belly, he ought to die. If he dies, it's not a miracle. Can't you see? It's a miracle of a miracle of a miracle. It's one of the most outstanding miracles of the Bible. Three times over. Three times over. Everything is a miracle. Surviving in the raging sea. Fish gobbles him. Three days and three nights suffocation and heat. Alive, alive, alive. There's no greater miracle than that. So Jesus says, what happens to Jonah happens to me. I will be like Jonah. Jonah is alive and Jesus is dead. He said he'll be like Jonah. You tell me he's unlike Jonah. What kind of religion have you got? Look, my brothers and sisters, get that little booklet from the Islamic Propagation Center, and if you have that patience and the perseverance, join the class. It's a privilege Allah has given you, Allah, that we, as small and as few as we are, we can do the job. You don't need any Arabs to come and help you, or any Pakistanis to come and help you. You can do it on your own with that little booklet. Master that little booklet, and now you look for the opportunity, people working with you, Christians, Christians all around you. Any excuse, in the buses, in the trains, wherever, 
Create an opportunity. Open your mouth. What church you belong to, sir? <laughs> Madam, what church you belong to? Let's. By God, the fellow won't know what hit him. And he won't know how things started. This is your privilege. Allah gives it to you. He says, Do you hear who Allah deen kulli? He's given you a deen, a way of life that is to master, overcome, and supersede them all, bulldoze them all. Walau kari hal mushrikun. Now, mind how much the mushrik might not like it. This is the destiny of his deen. I started with that Quranic verse. Walan tarda antal yahudo walan nasara hatta tatabia milat. That the Jews and the Christians will never, never be satisfied with you unless you follow the brand of religion. Now, I say that this is from Surah Baqarah. In this encyclopedia called the Quran, it is in Baqarah. How do we find Baqarah in this book? Huh? That you know, but. The, you tell somebody else, now how do you find this? Suppose he doesn't know and you don't know. How do you find Baqarah? Yes. yes, yes, index. There's an index in here. At the back, like a dictionary. Look for B, Baqarah, it'll tell you two. Very easy to find. It's ayah number 120. Very easy to find. That's where you find it. Now this book is available. I was happy. I didn't know. You see, the way I was given to understand that there was some presentation of certificates in a classroom and I will go there and I said, right, I will sit down and watch the fun. That's how we get caught out every time. So I left everything behind. I just come along with a, like a wise guy and they tell me that you're supposed to deliver a lecture. I said, right, okay. <laughs> I can't say, now, look, oh, this is my bag is left in this hotel. <laughs> That's no excuse. So I have to. Hmm. But now, this book here, 1,800 pages, hardcover, hardcover, an encyclopedia, how much? Five dollars. I don't know how hard you feel. Have you ever purchased books for your children, for your brothers at all? Little booklets for your children? I know it costs hell of a lot in South Africa. Cost more than this encyclopedia. Booklets, but more than this encyclopedia. Booklets, booklets, books for the children. This is five dollars for two, almost two thousand pages. And anything you want to know, everything is all here. Everything on your fingertips. What do you want to know? What do you want to know? You want to know about marriage? Open M, tell you marriage, everything about marriage in the house of Islam. You want to know about divorce? Open D, tell you about divorce. You want to know about Jesus? Open J, everything about Jesus. Everything on your fingertips. What do you want to know? Wallah, you never had it so good. You never had it so good and you'll never have it so good. Five dollars, they are yours for the taking at the back. And if you miss the bus in getting the book, then the propagation center is there still. They might have stocks. You can get it from them. Five dollars. You owe it to yourself to have one, number one. Number two, buy extra copies for your brother-in-laws. Muslim or non-Muslim, for your brother-in-laws, your father-in-law, buy it for them as well. For your employer, for your employee, buy it for them. For your neighbor, call them home for a cup of tea. And at the end of it, present them with a book. Look, who can do better talking than Allah? When make him to be your advocate. He's your advocate. He's talking on your behalf. You only just show him how to use the book. See, you want to know about Jesus? See what it says? And the J, Jesus, his birth, described in two places. Chapter 3, verses 42 onwards. Chapter 19, verses 23 onwards. Let's have a look. Open chapter 3, verse 42, and start. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Wa yisqalat al-malaikatu ya Maryamu. If you know Arabic, read it. Read it to the non-Muslim. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. Wallah, Allah's kalam has that magic powers. It has